Hey guys! Hello! <laughs> Basically, what is a ketogenic diet? It is a high fat, moderate protein, low carb diet. Really, what we've come to find is that the most important rule to follow while doing a ketogenic diet is to not eat sugar. Cut that out. Keep your carbs low. Very and low. really figure out what your body likes. Start with the most important macro um, or the yeah. star of the ketogenic diet, which is fat. Good old fat. Okay, so some fats that we enjoy so much. Kerrygold, butter, salted or unsalted, whatever you like. It has how many 12 grams of fat? 12 grams of fat. Grams of fat. Was little... Right, yeah. So it's really an easy way to get your fat in mm -hmm. to eat butter in yes. your meals or in your teas or yes. um, even as a snack too. You can just eat This butter, butter is so good. Avocado oil. Another great fat to eat too is coconut oil. Love it. You can take the coconut flavor because it, it does have a coconut flavor yeah, it does. and aroma. Um, as long as you don't mind that, it's, it's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Keep around. Another great fat is avocados. Mm -hmm. So avocados are a great source of fiber as well as potassium. Mm -hmm. um, more than banana. More than banana. Mm -hmm. And without the sugar. And that's the thing. Very that's another key. Again, the number one rule in our opinion with ketogenic diet is keeping sugar out. Fat in, in your Animal meat. meat but yeah. we're going to get to that in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So we'll move on to about herbalizations. Herbalization. Herbalization. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So tell us this. We want to focus less on eating the traditional vegetables right. that that and was lettuce and, and broccoli and, and all that, and focus more on eating herbs. Fresh all herbs. the things that we mm -hmm. eat as like garnish. Now I do have some asparagus here, which it was on sale, and asparagus has lots of vitamins and minerals and nutrients that we need. I've heard it's supposed to be really, really good for digestion. Um, our bacteria in our stomach and our gut really likes it. So, and I haven't found that I felt bad after eating asparagus. I always want to eat more. Yes. Citrus. This is so important. Yes. Actually, right now, I'm drinking some warm uh, lime juice with some salt and hot water. And I've been drinking this a lot more. And, dude, I feel amazing. Like, yeah. I feel more hydrated. It's like coffee, but coffee has never given me that boost. Like, I only drink coffee for the taste. But this is basically what you call keto raid. Well, and, our version of you know, it. it's a, it's just um, electrolytes. You're giving mm -hmm. your body back electrolytes because on the keto diet, you're going to lose water. Oh yeah, and with that goes all the salt and yeah. minerals. So you got to keep replacing that sweeteners. Sweeteners that we're using. Either. Our favorite sweetener is erythritol. It doesn't hurt my tummy. Um, mm -hmm. It's definitely sweet. Our protein. So definitely going to be eating lots of eggs. Mm -hmm. Also have. Beef liver, yum. Well, we're gonna try to make it yum. <laughs> Jowls. Okay, we're gonna try this. We're gonna bake them in the oven. Yeah, um, that should be good. Like bacon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And some of our favorite stuff that we like to eat, carne picada. I don't know if you checked out our uh, mukbang, mm -hmm. but it's super yummy. And mm -hmm. definitely like to eat that with a lot of cilantro, lime, lemon juice. Uh, yes. Yum, yum, yum. Carne picada. <laughs> we're also gonna go to the store sometime this week. We'll probably get some oxtail. Mm -hmm. And um, some steaks. Definitely steaks. eat a lot more beef. I'm feeling really good eating yeah. beef. Mm -hmm. um, my legs in the last couple of weeks have really tightened up my skin too. Um, so I'm definitely liking doing the carnivore, eating more um, meat. Mm -hmm. Meat and lots of fat and keeping these carbs way, way low. We're going to talk about nuts and cheese. <laughs> yeah, our thoughts on nuts and cheese. Right now, like, they are a trigger for me. Um, there is no portion control or... I just don't have control when I have nuts in the house. Like, I just want to eat the whole, all bag. of them, the whole bag, <laughs> the whole can, whatever. So, you got to be careful with that. Um, and if you really want to keep it low carb, um, you kind of really cut, you can cut those out and yeah. you'll be okay. So, yeah, we're going to try that. We we're just going to go a little while without having nuts. Mm. Cheese and dairy. I, want, I don't want to, but I want to eliminate cheese um, just to see if that can help my sinus situation. And I, I want to see if dairy. Um, or all but butter. I'm gonna keep butter. I'm going to abstain at least for two whole weeks, mm -hmm. at least, if not really 30 days. I would like to see an improvement in my um, sinus sinuses. Do uh, for a while is to abstain from having like sweets, mm -hmm. like even all the the keto replacements and the, um, the sweet, cookies and the bread and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, because it, once again, that's a trigger. I know definitely for me as someone who's been overweight their whole life and struggled with um, sugar addiction because I love sugar mm -hmm. and it's something that I definitely know without shadow of a doubt that I just cannot have as part of my diet and man it's a beast sugar really is and when we get to eating too much keto cookies and cakes mm -hmm. and this and that it just makes it easier to say okay <laughs> when I'm outside of the house to eating 
sugar mm -hmm. and, and stuff. And, and ultimately right now, I really do want to heal my body and heal my skin especially and lose the rest of this fat that's on me because mm -hmm. it ain't doing nothing for me no um, health wise so i want to see this body turn into a fat burning mach machine yes, absolutely like, fat is only there to keep me going yeah. you know it's, it's yeah that, energy that energy is that right. gas for your yeah. car that's like that's the kind of yeah. gas i'm running on now so yeah that's what and I'm i mean if i'm eating yeah. sugar then my body will never run on mm -hmm. fat like i that's a, a keto law that i no, it's true, or at least that I'm believing. Mm -hmm. So that number one thing, like I've said a couple of times throughout this video, is keeping sugar out of diet and just really focusing mm -hmm. on the the star of the show, which is fat. Somebody say that when you stop putting the poison in, your body will correct itself. We don't have to do anything but just stop poisoning ourselves. Figure out what your body likes. Wow and it will take over. And I am like living proof of that. I see it more and more and more. The more that I just get simple with my diet and stop stressing and just go to sleep and exercise when I want to exercise yes. and just really become more in tune with moi. Mm -hmm. Man, it's just really amazing how great and good I yeah. feel. It's true. I didn't really pay attention to how I felt in my body. Uh, if I felt bad, it was just like, okay, well, let me let me take some of these over-the-counter drugs or whatever yeah. to feel better. Let me heal this with that instead of, you know, I never knew you could do it through food. Like, mm -hmm. if I just drank some lemon water, that might have helped, you know, yeah. stay, keep the flu off, you know, or the yeah. colds and things, you know. I mean, it's a learning process, but <clears throat> I, I like this way of eating because it, it is simple. Your your choices are narrowed down. Mm -hmm. and less stress. It is less stressful. Um, and, and you can eat like this with a busy lifestyle, on the go. Um, yeah. Or like where to kind of start as far as with doing a basic ketogenic diet. Mm -hmm. We want to know um, if you're doing keto and, you know, how it's going for you. Right. So, all, all right. right. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.